Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I'm glad to announce a new update for the iMediaMatic plugin. So this is an Instagram scraper and also Instagram auto poster so it can pull content from Instagram to your WordPress site but also auto post images from your WordPress site to your Instagram account. And today a new update is available for it as Instagram changed a lot since uh, recently and I had to update the plugin. So in the latest version of iMediaMatic, you will find the, besides the username and password for our Instagram, also cookie string, session ID cookie value and email address, email IMAP server and email password. So this might be required to make the plugin function again. So what you can try if the plugin is not working for you is that besides adding your Instagram username and password, you can try add a session ID cookie. So this is the first thing I recommend to do. So for to get this cookie, go to Instagram, hit F12 in Chrome and go to cookies here in the left and select Instagram and you will find session ID. So go to value field from here, double click it and copy the value from here and paste it to the plugin settings here. So all you have to do now is not log out from Instagram in this browser, but simply click X to close the Instagram page if you want to exit. So after you paste the session ID cookie here, you will be able to import posts again. So if this is not working for you, you can also add a cookie string, which is looking like this. So cookie name equals cookie value, semicolon, cookie name equals cookie value, semicolon, and so on. And so, on. so you can get this from the network tab. If you right click on any element from here and copy as CURL and paste it in a notepad, you will find the cookie string from there and you will be able to extract it. Just don't forget to not extract the double quotes from the end of it. Okay, so this can be added here and this might be also make the plugin to work for you. And another thing that I added are email account address, password and IMAP server. This should be the email account that is created, uh, that created your Instagram account and the plugin is able to log into that email account and wait for the two-factor authorization email to come and automatically enter the code that you got from there to Instagram and to validate your, your login. So this is also optional method that I implemented in the plugin to make it work again with the latest changes from Instagram. So this is all you can first try the session ID cookie value. If it is not working, try the cookie string. If this is also failing, you can go ahead and add your email address, IMAP server and email password. If these are not working, try and use a web proxy address list here in the plugin settings and the plugin will use the IP addresses of these proxies. Okay, so this is all for today. I leave the link for the iMediaMatic plugin in this video description and before I go, I want to tell you a short story. So uh, if you are asking yourself why the iMediaMatic plugin is called iMediaMatic and not Instamatic or Instagramomatic. This is because Instagram contacted me officially last year and I had to change the name of this plugin from Instamatic to something else that is not containing the patent that they have for Insta name. So they patented the name Insta, Instagram, Gram and many other sub uh, versions of Instagram and Facebook and they are requiring not to add this, these parts of words into titles of other products or images. So this is why you will not find the name Instagram listed in the title of the plugin or the images it, it uh, contains, its description contains. 
So yeah, this is all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye bye.